Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today's video is a little bit inspired by something that arrived in the post today. So I've got myself this package, which has come with some airmail stickers on it. And on closer inspection, it's from Michael at Michael's Fish Room. So it's a little care package from Michael. So let's see, can we find my knife? I think I know what this is, but who doesn't like a little bit of an unboxing? So we'll get into this and see what he sent me. It got me thinking as well. Michael's Fish Room, famous for his guppies. Uh, do a guppy inspired video. So I'll take you down to the fish room in a little bit and we will have a look at some guppies in a potential new project that I'm thinking of starting up. But let's have a look and see what he's bought us. Oh, right. We have got one, two, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, bunch of packets of food and even more food and even some Michael's Fish Room stickers. So he did actually message me and tell me he was sending me this stuff through. So we've got a load of sample packs here from Super Cichlids. So any of my US viewers, you might be aware of Super Cichlids. So we've got a load of things here. What have we got? We've got some community one millimeter pellets, some 14 millimeter wealth, wealth capers, kelp wafers even, and some community flake. What is this? Pro Bugs, Eco Fresh Rice Worm. Never seen that before. Organic farm raised whole insects. And then we've got some Mass Effect Excalibur premium flower horn foods. So I think these are all Excalibur branded. So I like a bit of intense red. Let's try some of this out with Humphrey right now. So this is Humphrey's tank. Uh, I do like a, a deep red. He is a, a two tone camphor flower horn. And one of those tones is red. So this is perfect for him. Um, all these foods are apparently great by all accounts. I've heard some really good things about them, not least from Mike himself. Um, if you haven't already, go and check out Michael's Fish Room on YouTube. Make sure you give him a subscribe and thank him for sending me the goodie bag. Um, or more likely, if you're here from Michael's Fish Room, make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. That would be really helpful. So high hopes. I'm pretty sure he would eat a scabby sock if I threw it in the tank. Um, he's a really good feeder. So I'm just going to give a pinch four or five pellets at the moment. Straight on them, as I knew he would be. And so this particular one, the ingredients here is crude, po crude protein, 42% minimum. The first few ingredients, um, whole salmon meal, whole krill meal, shrimp meal, seaweed meal, whole wheat, spirulina. It's good stuff. It's all what you want to hear. So, like I say, keep subscribed. We'll check back in on Humphrey in future videos and see how big his cock gets. That's the lump on his head before anyone complains. And track his progress. Right, let's get down to the fish room and we'll check out the real project for today's video. So that brings me on to today's video proper. I'm going to go into the fish room in a minute and show you some new fish that I picked up. I went to Sustainable Aquatics again yesterday. Uh, I must say, I'm not sponsored by them. I didn't get any discounts or anything like that. I just really liked the shop. So I went back again and picked up some fish um, and I got some guppies. And this is something I've been meaning to do for a while because I've always kept guppies. And if you join me on any of my live streams or anything like that, you know that I, I keep going on about them, how I think they're great fish for starters through to mediocres to mediocres. That's not the word I'm going for. It's through to advanced hobbyists because you can learn so much from them or you can just keep them and enjoy the really pretty fish. And if any of you are avid viewers of Michael's fish room, you'll know that he likes to keep uh, guppies and uh, the term muck guppy is kind of where I'm at in my fish keeping life. I just like the pretty colors. Uh, I've kept them for donkeys. Um, they're just really cool looking fish. I'm interested in line breeding, but if you're going to do line breeding properly, I think you have to have something like a minimum of nine tanks to do one strain. So I'm not really going to dedicate nine tanks just to guppy breeding just yet. Maybe if I ever expand here, but I want to do something in that area. If I stop tripping over the dogs, intrepid guard dogs. There might be a squirrel out there somewhere he has to bark at sometime soon. Anyway, let's go and have a look. So I'm talking about these three tanks. I have 
cleaned them out, populated them. They may end up being a bit of a breeding for profit type project, but um, I just wanted to try and dedicate this to guppies now. And by the way, um, as well as hopefully subscribing to the channel, you can also follow me on Facebook um, and Instagram and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to get better at the social medias. I'll put all the links down in the description, you can follow along. But as I mentioned, I went back to Sustainable Aquatics and they had some really nice guppies in there. Um, I had a choice of Israeli bred or UK bred ones. Uh, and in the end, I think I got a bit of a mix. So I've spent yesterday and today now just getting the right mix of tanks uh, or the right mix of guppies for what I want to do for my project. So the end goal is that I'm not going to line breed, but I'm going to let uh, various similar guppies breed. So in this tank, we've got some very specific males. So in this tank, we've got some yellow cobras. In this tank we've got some blue cobras and in this tank we've got some other ones whose name I have forgotten. I think they were um, half black, they were in a tank called half black red tailed tuxedos but they also had some, not albino but white ones as well or light ones so I, I went for them because I thought they looked really cool. But the basic premise that I'm going for with these ones is I want to have uh, yellow fish, or mainly yellow traits, mainly blue traits, and mainly red traits. Um, so I've mixed up both my guppies and the guppies that I got yesterday and put them into these tanks. So each tank has something like six to ten, I think, is the most that I've got in any of them, uh, of similar-ish or things that I think might spit out some interesting looks. Um, I've got two males in each tank and then the rest are all females because I want to have more females than males and hopefully the males can just do their thing and, and get busy with it. In terms of tank setup, um, like I say, I've tried to limit it to two males in each tank. Um, I want to have a higher ratio of females to males. I want it to be fairly well planted because when they do start to spit out um, some babies, I don't, I'm not into this whole breeder box and separating pregnant guppies and all that jazz. I'm more into just letting them get on with it. So plenty of plants, plenty of java moss, and then the, the babies can hide away. Um, it's worked for me really well in the past, so I don't see why it shouldn't work for me now. And also in each of these tanks, I've also got a bunch of cherry shrimp because it's something I've done before is guppies and cherry shrimp, they coexist really well. The cherry shrimp keep on top of the algae and the uneaten food. So I can feed them quite heavily. And because feeding the guppies quite heavily promotes the putting on size and getting into breeding condition. So that's the plan so far. What I'm noticing now that I'm up here is that some of the fish that I thought were mostly red or mostly blue or vice versa are a bit more of the other so there might have to be a little bit of swapping around going on but the plan is that I let these guys breed in here and then as and when the young get up to size and I can see what's going on I can then start to pick out the really nice specimens uh, and put them to the side and start another project with them if you like and um, this is not line breeding this is not how you should do line breeding if you want to look up line breeding go ahead and do that and other people a lot more intelligent than me can explain how that works this is more well, it's more category breeding rather than line breeding i'm just picking things that have some traits that i like like the snake skins here and um, i like the the tails i'm going for fish that have nice big fat tails or but where the body meets the tail it's not too thin and weak it's a nice strong tail and um, i'm looking for nice bright fish i'm looking for nice active fish uh, and basically i'm just trying to pick the best of each example so as that gives me the best chance for some really good offspring as well so the end goal is just to get some really good quality fish that have bright colors good strong characteristics that are active and happy and most of all, give you some enjoyment. So eventually I might end up selling these fish if I go through and jump through all the hoops that you have to jump through to be able to sell fish around here. And so you might be able to buy these one day. Technically they're going to be muck guppies. They're always going to be muck guppies because they're not going to be a specific strain. Um, but I'm hoping they have a more of a category than a strain, if that makes sense. So, what do you think? 
So I think a couple of the females are probably pregnant already, so there'll be a bit of sorting out to do. Uh, in fact, what well, do you know, there's a ton of fry in there already. Wow, I did not expect that so soon. Um, but I just thought this might be a fun little project that we can keep track of on the, the channel. Um, let me know what you would do. So I've got limited space, I've only got a small fish room. Um, I just thought this was a good use of space and maybe we can make some available to people in the future. As always, if you've enjoyed this or even if you haven't, give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, give me a subscribe, something like that. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.